Hello and welcome to my first video in quite a while. This video is as a result of a question asked by Jules Taylor, wanting to know how a person filling in a form created by Microsoft Forms can save their response. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this short video. So let's get stuck right in with a form one I made early. Here's a form for one of the courses that I run called Maximizing Productivity with Microsoft 365. This is a virtual course and runs online. So I want to make sure that people who fill in this form can save their response to their own forms library. So you would think it's under collect responses, but here we just get the option of saying who can respond to our form and how. So we can send people a link, we can email them, we can get a QR code, or the form can be embedded somewhere. So it's not there, so where is it hiding? Over here, we've got three dots. Whenever you see three dots in Microsoft, it means there are more options. I'm gonna click settings. So first of all, who can fill in the form? Options for responses, and it's this one. Allow respondents to save their responses, and you could also allow them to edit. So once they've submitted it, if you want them to go back and refine their answers, you can check that box. So I have this box ticked, and that's all I need to do. All I need to do then is copy that link and send it out to my people. So let's go and see what happens when they fill it in. Where does it live? Well, here I am in my Forms dashboard. I happen to be using the Forms app. I downloaded it to my desktop, but it's exactly the same as using it in the browser. It's called a PWA, a Persistent Web App. So this actually opens Forms in the browser, but you don't see the browser. So you'll see that I have an option here for My Forms. And I've also got an option for filled forms. And in this option are all the forms that I filled in and saved my response. So here I've got one for when I spoke at the PA show in February 2024, I was sent a Microsoft form to give my feedback. So I can now go and see what I said and what information I gave. And what happens for the viewer when they receive, when they fill in the form, at the end, there'll be an option to save that response. So let me pause recording for a minute, send that form off to somebody else and show you what that looks like. So I've sent this form to Lou, my colleague, and we can see we're in Lou's account and here she is ready to start filling it in. So she can fill it all in. I'm going to say, uh, all of it, Ooh, I've got caps lock on, let's turn that off, uh, collaboration with Microsoft 365 was my faith session, uh, I'm not going to leave that blank, uh, I'm happy with virtual, uh, how long it was just right, no more comments, uh, fabulous course let's dismiss that um, and yes we can would you like yes I'll get the newsletter and now I've filled it all in I've got a next button where it says submit once I click submit I get this screen where I can save my response so I'm going to choose save my response that saves the response into Lou's forms library under my responses. So she will have, here it is, and she can go back and view the response at any time. She's got the form reader there, and we can close that form and refresh Lou's forms dashboard. And here we are, my forms and filled forms. So there she can get back to that form that was filled. You just need to refresh it. Remember, we're working in the browser. So I hope that's answered the question for you, Jules, and anybody else that needs to know how to save the responses of their forms. Remember, I did not check the box that allowed people to edit, but I could have done if that is warranted. And I'll see you in a video sometime soon. And please do remember, subscribe to the channel, give us a like and a follow and come and connect with me over on LinkedIn.